got mighty quiet all of a sudden. Good evening and welcome. Uh, for those of you, many of you, uh, for whom this is not your home church, let me just uh, introduce myself. My name is Tim Callum. I'm one of the pastors here at Mountain Brook Community Church, and we welcome you to this very, very special occasion. Uh, how many of you learned something new in this uh, John Michael trivia tonight? Who knew that John Michael and his brothers sitting right over here were big fans of the Disney princesses? That's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, we, are, uh, we are so grateful. This, is, uh, this season, music is so much a part of the celebration of our Christmas season. And uh, we are so grateful and privileged to have uh, John Michael a part of that celebration. Back this year, after having to take a year off last year, as we had to take a year off from just about everything last year, we are so glad to be back tonight with John Michael in concert. Uh, anybody here tonight not heard John Michael in person? Anybody? You all are in for such a treat tonight. This is a very, very special special evening. So would you join me in prayer? Our Father, we do thank you for that which we celebrate at this season. For unto us a Savior has been born, Jesus Christ our Lord. We thank you for the gift of music. We thank you for the way that you have so gifted John Michael. Thank you for the gift that he is to us. And now this evening, the gift that this concert is for all of us. May it point us to the reason uh, for the celebration of this season. May it point us to the Lord Jesus himself. And so we give you this next hour or so and just pray that you would be honored in all that's done. We give it all this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Emmanuel, God with us. To him be the glory. Amen. Safety check. Drew, we good? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mountain Brook Community Church. Please join me as we welcome John Michael Ogletree with a drum roll. In five, four, 
three, two, one.
please go back to the pit. I'll come and visit you in a little while, okay? I didn't know you had elves working here. Oh boy, you're hilarious, my friend. He, he, he doesn't get it. Go back to the story, okay? So, on the cover, above the title. Does Santa know that you left the workshop? You know, we're all laughing our heads off right now. Did you have to borrow a reindeer to get down here? Buddy, go back to the basement. Hey, Jackweed, I've got houses in LA, Paris, and Vail. Oh. Each one of them with a 70 inch plasma screen. So I suggest you wipe that stupid smile off your face before I come down there and smack it off. You feeling strong, my friend? Call me off one more time. He's an angry elf. Look at you! Listen, Miles. He must be a South Pole elf. Welcome. It is so, so good to be back. I cannot believe it's been two years. Uh, you've probably got a lot of questions, and so I'm gonna answer a few of those. Um, first of all, uh, I just can't believe, I'm, I'm so honored at the turnout. You all sh you showed up and I was not uh, sure with everything that's been going on, so thank you uh, so, so much. So, uh, just a few updates. A lot's happened in the past 24 months. Uh, you might ask why was I playing Disney music at a Christmas concert? I wanted to play something from my YouTube channel uh, that has had some success. And there's actually a lot of people who dislike Christmas music. So I wanted something for those, those uh, I'm not gonna call them horrible people because they're not horrible people. <laughs> Maybe just traumatized, I, I don't know. Uh, but but I, I wanted something for them. And uh, so a, a lot's happened YouTube wise uh, with COVID, uh, live music uh, was, was just not able to happen. And so thankfully I already had a presence and, and I really put a lot of emphasis on it. And, and since my last concert, I've, I've gained over 10,000 subscribers. I have uh, put over 150 additional cover videos on there. So you can actually now listen to me for 24 hours straight on YouTube. <laughs> and that's without ads. And so that's probably about 48 hours if you listen to the ads as well. But uh, so anyway, I just, I wanted uh, just to take a second to, to thank everybody. I, I know, again, a lot, of, a lot of strange things have happened. Um, I had never worn a mask before COVID. I'd never really had a, a reason to. Um, but one funny thing about masks is if you run into somebody with a mask on in public, it's really hard to recognize them. And you know, so it's, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't recognize you with your mask on. Well, I've never heard that personally about me, <laughs> but I have been in the other position of not recognizing people. So that must be nice uh, to kind of go a little bit invisible there. But um, I've got a lot of music tonight. Uh, I really, I wanted, uh, to, to play as much as I possibly could. So again, thank you so much, and I'm gonna keep playing a little more for y'all before we talk again.
you. Thank you so, so much. Um, so uh, you all have really done something that I don't think you intended on doing, but you've done it, and, and you have put a lot of pressure on me on this evening. This is one of my favorite evenings of the year, and there's just a lot of pressure to one-up the previous time that I did this. And that is getting very difficult. I mean, I, I, I put more thought into the fake zip line than the entire concert put together. That was, because I, I, yeah, I knew there was liability. I didn't want to sign a waiver. We weren't going to actually do it. I hope nobody was injured in the process, but I think I would have heard about it by now. Um, so, so I don't know what I'm going to do next year, uh, to be honest. So I, I do have a year, but that is on y'all. Y'all have done that to me. And, uh, but I, I'm up for the challenge. So I, we've, we've got uh, several, several surprises tonight, which I'm super excited about. Um, for one, uh, most single men do not take the time to come up with a list of friends and gather addresses and have a photo shoot and design a Christmas card that uh, their sad selves can just hang with all the other happy families <laughs> on a doorway. But I have done that on the back of your program because rather than just leaving the program blank on the back, I figured here's my chance. You know, if you really are one of my friends, you're gonna be here tonight. And so this is a way that all of my friends get a Christmas card. So you can hang this up, you know, just double-sided tape with all the other happy married people with kids. And then you can just look, look at me uh, and Mickey and Minnie. And, uh, but, but if you flip it over, this actually has some really, really exciting updates. It, it, and, and really, all that, uh, all that I've done over the past 24 months is pretty much summarized uh, in my new website. So, Pianist, that just takes you, this is a link, uh, I think, thanks to the restaurant industry, we all know how to use these QR codes now, and if you don't know how to use them, then you've probably not uh, left the house uh, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner in at least 18 months. But, uh, and we even had a way to put a cool piano in the middle, which I thought was kind of neat. I'd not seen that before. Um, that was only $500 extra to put the piano in. So, and based on ticket sales tonight, that's probably, I'm gonna have to eat that one. Uh, but, uh, if you go to that website, it brings you a brand new website, which I'm launching tonight. And all of these are buttons you can click. So, Pianist just takes you to my YouTube channel, uh, which we'll talk about uh, at the end. That's that's the uh, guilt trip this year, whereas the CD pitch was uh, two years ago. Um, but I wanted to talk about writer right now. Uh, many of you know that I was writing a book. I was being an intentional verb there. Uh, I do not read, and so I don't really know what a book is or how to write a book, but I do enjoy writing words down. Uh, and, and so, I have a lot of content, and so what I've done is I have, I know it's 2021, almost 2022, and this was cool at least 25 years ago, but I am starting a blog. And, and so, and a jazzercise VHS uh, tape as well. So I think those are coming back. Uh, so so you, can, you can get both of those. But on this blog, uh, I've got it, I've got it divided into four categories. You can read um, faith, they're like daily devotionals, and then food. My dream job is to be a food critic. I've eaten out every single meal since I was 18 years old, so that is true. You know, uh, I, I mean, just walk yourself through me going to a grocery store. It's, it's, it's not good. Uh, one of the funny things that, that I used to do with some friends in high school uh, when I go birthday card shopping, I'm only able to reach like the bottom row. And so uh, I would get like a, you know, uh, so sorry for your loss. And I would just, I would, I would cross out sorry, like so happy. And for your loss, I'd cross out loss and put for your birthday. <laughs> and you just kind of have to make your own cards uh, when you're three foot eight. 
And so that's how that goes at the grocery shopping. So imagine anything else and then getting home and there's like appliances that could burn your house down. Uh, and then I just don't have time really or the desire. So I, I just, I eat out every meal. Um, and because of that, I would love to be a food critic. So I'm gonna do food reviews of um, places around Birmingham and uh, all over, and then I'm gonna try to monetize that. And if I can just get one free meal out of it, uh, the thousands of dollars I've spent de developing the website will be worth it. Um, so there's, there's faith, there's food, there's fun. Um, I think I've been to Disney World nine times in 2021. That's kind of a lot. Yes, it is a problem. <laughs> it is. Uh, but again, um, no wife, no kids. So no wife, no kids. So uh, I'm, I choose to go to Disney a lot with friends and family. And so there's a, that's an overwhelming trip. And I've got a lot of knowledge that I would just love to impart on, um, on anybody that wants to take the time to read a blog in 2022. And then, so faith, food, fun, and then finances. Um, I, for whatever strange reason, decided to become a college professor this semester. So uh, I teach my last class tomorrow. I have been teaching personal finance at Sanford University. It has been awesome. Um, it, I absolutely love it. Yes, thank you. I didn't know that I was even qualified to do that. I, to my surprise, they'll almost let anybody teach. <laughs> so, and that was clearly demonstrated by me showing up. Uh, and, and so we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, later as well. But um, so you will notice on your way out, there is not something that historically is there. I'm not selling CDs anymore. And good conscience, I just can't do it. You know, two years ago, it was like, okay, they're like kind of on their way out. I just, I can't take your money for a physical CD anymore. I, th I think it's an, an ethical issue. And I just taught my students about ethics. So, so they're not available anymore. Um, however, if you would like to support me and my endeavors, there is a way that you can. So uh, my YouTube channel now, not only can I harass you about subscribing to it, which is free, all you have to do is create a Gmail account. It's so easy, it takes about 20 seconds. Once you're logged in, you can subscribe. You can join my channel now though, and that has a monthly fee associated with it. And uh, you can join at 99 cents, a month, uh, $1.99 or $49.99, which seems kind of expensive. Uh, but, uh, you know, my medical bills aren't cheap either. So, <laughs> I mean, if you want this Christmas concert to keep going, then I need a few at that level. But the higher level, uh, what it does is it allows me to, you can send me any song you want and I can listen to it and I'll make you a video of it. Uh, so I've already gotten several takers, like people that it's like, this is my grandparents' song they danced to in their wedding and it's not on YouTube. I didn't know songs existed like that, but they like emailed me them recording a literal cassette on their phone and I learned it and sent it to them. And so anyway, they, uh, they did complain and I had to refund their $49.99 though. <laughs> Uh, probably should have used a different example on that. Um, so anyway, uh, that is how I'm trying to guilt trip y'all. I mean, there's literally, there's probably 500 people here. That's a lot of subscribers. And I know not all of you have subscribed. So on the way out, I will be um, looking at your phone. And, and for you, it's free to enter, but it costs a subscription to exit. We've got all the exits locked. Uh, so just hold, hold your phone up and show that you've subscribed. And if you have joined as well, uh, then you can get straight out there and you don't have to wait in the, in the long line uh, of cars either. So, all right, well, I've got uh, more songs to play. I could sit up here and talk all day, but I don't wanna do that. Um, yep, not the time for that. Ooh. 
I can't believe y'all keep coming to this thing.
Thank you. Um, I now want to invite uh, a friend of mine on stage. His name is Derek Sellers. He is a Birmingham, uh, Alabama-based musician, and he is insanely talented. I've not even seen him tonight. We have not practiced this. This is actually, I've not practiced anything I've played tonight so far. Uh, I'm literally just winging it, and few guys can wing it uh, like this guy. So, very excited to uh, play for you all a, uh, a song called O Come, o Come Emmanuel, and we've got a, an awesome YouTube video of it, and it's actually launching tonight at 7 o'clock. So, at 7, you will be able to hear us in the studio do this exact rendition. So, I hope you enjoy it. Can y'all believe it? Round for Derek. Yes. Uh, so I, I did, in addition to thanking Derek, there's just a lot of people to thank. Uh, I wanted to thank Tim for opening this up and Mountain Brook Community for letting me host this evening. Ryan Hoffman is running sound and he ran most of the fake zip line. Uh, Scott Montgomery, Alan Hoskins, uh, there, there's just a lot of help I had tonight. Yes, thank you. Um, so typically, and we're not at the end, don't worry, but 
typically I do end with Oh Holy Night. However, I've got an even better song to end with tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and play Oh Holy Night now, and then we'll launch in uh, to the rest of the concert after that. And I might start with some Silent Night as well, because we got time.
Thank you. Um, so, if you've been to one of these before, uh, you kind of know the drill. It, this, do you ever have difficulty explaining to people if they ask the question, well, what is this Christmas concert? Because, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of different because you know, it, it's a little nuts to uh, all that's involved. But I, in addition to just music and just having fun, selling some jokes, uh, I, I like using this as an opportunity uh, to just encourage you. And so um, there's two icons left that I've not talked about yet. Uh, one is Difference Maker. So I am starting a 501c3 nonprofit next year called Sycamore Trees, and it is to uh, better the lives of those who live with dwarfism. And so I just want uh, to take all that I've been through and uh, encourage people with dwarfism, um, parents who have children that they just found out have dwarfism, just how to navigate those unique challenges. And so uh, the, the first thing that I'm wanting to do is start a scholarship for higher education. Because when I went to school, that did not exist. And so uh, that's something I'm really excited about. And you'll hear a lot about that uh, next Christmas. Um, it is, I wanted to have it ready uh, by this year, but it's just one of those things that there's a lot of uh, hoops you got to jump through to make that happen, but I can do it by next year. And so the other one is Motivator. And next year I'm launching yet another uh, way to spend my time, and that is going to be traveling around speaking as a motivational speaker. And I am thrilled about this. And so just, I wanted to take just a few minutes tonight um, I want the theme of this evening to be joy, because uh, th there's, there's scripture that, it's just so simple, Matthew 2.10, you read the Christmas story and you find out, um, you, you, it reads this, when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. And that star represents Jesus being born, and they were overjoyed. And so I wanted to share a story with you all, um, actually about my first day teaching at Sanford. So I was so excited. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect. And if you know anything about Sanford's campus, it's just a giant circle. So you can pull in any direction, take a left, you'll wind up right back at Lakeshore, take a right, you can wind right back where you started. So I, I came in and I took a right and I uh, came to my second stop sign and there were a group of uh, students and I came to this a complete stop and I saw them laugh at me. And I saw them snickering and I saw them pull their phone out and started like taking pictures of me and like videoing it. And so I just literally sat there, and they just kept going. And that is just one example of how I am made fun of because of my dwarfism every single day. I could, I could keep you all here until midnight, opening up about all of the times that I've been made fun of. And I could keep you here until midnight talking about other adversities that come along with it. Uh, the, the physical pain, uh, the lack of being able to do certain things that I really want to do. Um, there's just unique struggles. And I could keep you here all night with this adversity, this adversity, this adversity, this adversity. But those stories, in a weird way, they're not really my story. My story is I am created and loved and purposed and sent by Jesus. And his love for me has pierced all of that. And I can't help but be overjoyed because of the things that he's done to the point where some college kids laugh. You know, I'll, 
and I will say this, I will give you a follow-up on that. I did follow them in my car all the way to the fraternity house, and I was filming them. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, not exactly sure Jesus would have done that, but he might have. I don't know. Uh, so I did follow them. Uh, so, and I, I'm planning on pledging, um, going undercover. I've got this long, long um, way to get back at them. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you an update on that next year as well. <laughs> but, but all that to say, like, you just, we've all experienced so much loss and sorrow. The sorrow fills this room. There are so many situations that are unique to us, and life's just hard. And it's so much harder than we thought it would be. But I just want to encourage you, Jesus is better. He is more powerful and above all of it. And, and I just want that joy to come over you. It is on me, and I just can't help. I want it to be contagious. Um, and so two years ago, I keep wanting to say last year, but last year basically just disappeared. Two years ago, I was playing the piano here at church in the morning, and uh, my instructions were, okay, we need you to play a song about joy, but not joy to the world. And it's Christmas time, so I'm like, mm, okay, well, I'm going to play joy to the world a little bit, because you got to. So I was like, well, what's another song that's about joy? So I thought about the classical song, Ode to Joy. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. So I came up with an arrangement, kind of on the fly, that morning... It blended the two together, and I really liked it, and I actually played it two years ago. Well, there's a, a church in Atlanta that I also got to play for two years ago, and they heard me perform this, and they were like, okay, John Michael, we want to orchestrate it fully for you. So I have sheet music for, 68, for a 68-piece orchestra to accompany me. So this is not a very big stage, so y'all come on in. I'm kidding. Uh, there's no orchestra here. Uh, mainly because you all paid zero dollars to be here. So, if, so let's say there's 500 people here. If you had paid 20 bucks each, 10 grand, nope. That's not enough to hire a 68-piece orchestra. Like, I don't even know how that would happen. So if, if you do know how that would happen, let me know, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll try to make it work. But what I do have is a recording of them. And so now we've got to talk about, so my musical strengths, I can sit here and play any song without practicing and I'm not worried about it at all. I don't get nervous. It's just a weird gift. I'm, I'm making it all up as I go. Uh, and that's what I did in the recording studio and a 68 piece orchestra is going to play exactly how I played it in the recording studio. I can't play exactly what I played in the recording studio, though, and I can't read music. So I'm in a bit of a conundrum because I have this perfectly orchestrated song, and I can't play what I originally played. However, thanks again to uh, some friends, we have, um, and a lot of practice. I practice more for this song than for anything I think I've ever practiced for musically. So gonna give it a try. Um, again, it is Ode to Joy sprinkled in with a lot of joy to the world. And um, so I'm just hoping that, that, that this does fill you with joy um, like it has with me. It, it was kind of a surreal feeling to, to hear an orchestra uh, accompany me. So, and then after that, just some logistics. We're going to stand and sing. I'm gonna invite uh, the worship leader, Drew Kearney, on stage, and we're going to sing some carols together, and then uh, I will be checking uh, your phone for the YouTube uh, subscriptions uh, on your way out. So thank you so, so much. Uh, I need like uh, maybe 30 seconds or so for some logistics on my end to prepare for the song, but hope you enjoy it, and thank you so, so much for coming tonight.
Right. Well, uh, thank you so, so much. Uh, we are going to sing some Christmas carols now. So, Drew, if uh, you would join us on stage. And uh, I definitely want to speak to some of you. I have wrangled some students of mine in, uh, to coming tonight, and they have to get a selfie with me to get extra credit for my class. I don't know that I'm allowed to do that technically, but uh, I mean, I don't think they can fire me because I'm short, so I don't think, I don't think they can do that. Uh, but so I'm gonna take a few selfies just because uh, students are also cheating uh, rampantly nowadays. And so, but I did tell them if they Photoshop something, I'd give them credit for that just for the ex extra effort. Um, but anyway, so uh, once I take a few selfies, I would love to uh, speak to you all out in the lobby afterwards. So we're going to sing Hark the Herald together, Oh Come All You Faithful together, and then uh, Joy to the World. So stand and let's sing.
Thank you all so much. Merry Christmas.